In today's video, I'll be playing Electro Giant, the win condition that finished number one in the world on ladder last season. And as you guys can see, the bombers in the deck too, which recently got buffed, that pairs very well inside of this new Electro Giant balloon deck. So I saw a few people running this deck inside of the top 100, and it's just one of many E Giant decks you can use. The bottom line is E Giant is really, really broken right now. I mean, the proof is the fact that it finished first last season and there's really no sign of it slowing down anytime soon the reason why i decided to do a video on this variation is because it's probably one that well surprising to you guys that is actually good kind of the way it works is the surprise factor half the time people don't expect you to have the balloon with the e-giant so oftentimes if they're running a building and they go for the building on the e-giant you can go in for the balloon when the building is then out of rotation because they didn't save it for the balloon so they just were not expecting it so in this case this guy's got the archer queen the bandit and the knight he might be using some sort of bridge spam deck if i had to guess and the bomber got a small damage buff it's not a massive buff but you have to keep in mind it's only a two elixir card and oftentimes guys when sheep cards get a buff it really makes a massive difference because there's just it's just it's more valuable right the buff whereas if it's a more expensive card the best way to explain it it's more elixir anyway so if it's getting a very small buff you're probably not going to notice it as much. So this guy went for his Ram Rider. His Ram Rider's out of cycle and the Archer Queen, but he's also got an Inferno Drag. That's actually quite unfortunate. He has a lot of air counters over here, but we're going to try to find a way to work around them. The one good thing we do have going for us, though, is the E-Giant does do really good against the Archer Queen as well as the Inferno Drag because, of course, right when you play the E-Giant on top... Um, it's just going to deal with them so nicely. He's going to get a lot of damage with the bandit in the other lane, but honestly, I think it's for the greater good. I, I actually do think that uh, that bomber was a bit of a mistake. I'm going to get the NATO in just in time. If I played that any later, the E-Giant would have taken too much damage, but luckily I did get that NATO. Pulling in the Inferno Drag, and just like that, we ended up taking the lead. So I'm honestly pretty fine with this situation. We know what deck he's using now. I might get a Fireball down on top of the Ram Rider, and then we'll just go for our Evo Knight. Evo Knight did not get nerfed somehow, some way in the last balance change. I personally think that's ridiculous, because right now I would say for sure, especially after the Evo Archer nerf, it is without a doubt probably the best card in the game. I don't know if really anyone can make the argument there's a better card than it right now, so... We're going to have to deal with it for two more months while we can. So that's kind of why I'm using it in this deck. If you don't have it, I'd probably recommend using a Dark Prince. That would be a the, the best replacement. I mean, it wouldn't obviously be as good. That would be kind of expected, though. But that, that's going to be your, your best bet for sure. So we're just going to have a hard time, I feel like, getting a balloon to the tower. I don't know how we're going to do that. But see, that's the nice thing about having the E-Giant and the balloon. You you have two win conditions. You have two ways of getting to the tower, essentially. Um, that's going to distract the Ram Rider so it doesn't keep freezing the E-Giant, keeping it in place. I'm going to actually send in the balloon here because he had to commit so much. This is a nice thing. You have, like, two things that are obnoxious for them to deal with. And this balloon, there's no way he's going to be able to stop it. So that's going to be GG. Let's get into the next one. Alrighty, we're against the Edgar here. So we have goblins in our starting hand and the bomber. I mean, I guess technically speaking, the goblins got a small nerf, but they're still pretty broken even after the nerf. I thought that guards were potentially going to be better, but I think it's proven that the goblins still remain on top. And a large part of it is because they're two elixir. And actually, guys, in some situations, they didn't even get a nerf because... If you go for a prediction log on top of goblins now, sometimes it doesn't hit all of them because they spawn later. Because he's not doing anything, I'm going to E-Giant. It seems kind of aggressive, but he's leaking elixir. I cycled my bomber, so I feel like it just... I just feel like it's fine. I don't know. So this guy... Wow, I'm surprised he went in for that Inferno Drag. That kind of felt like a massive mistake because now he's just not really going to be able to deal with that E-Giant. I'm going to go goblins here just for good measure, but I think we're completely fine. This is like... This deck destroys Lava Hound, so if you're against Lava, I mean, it's it's just going to be pretty easy. Or any Balloon deck in general, to be fair, because you have the Fireball, you have the Tornado, you pretty much have everything you need. So, this is like, probably already pretty much a wrap. I mean, I wouldn't be, even be surprised if he gives up. He probably isn't going to do that, but I just don't see how he's going to come back in this situation. So, as long as we... Yeah, that is going to get the tower. And then he probably will go for a balloon in front, if I had to guess. Try to get some pressure going. Let's see what he's going to do. No, I just realized he's not even back to his balloon yet anyway. But I'll show you guys how you defend a lava loom push. 
To be fair, actually, you don't even have to completely defend it. Oh, well, it would have been good to go e giant same lane as the Lava, but he went Lava in the corner, so... That, that, that was a little bit unfortunate timing, I have to say. It's okay, and if he gets a tower, it's not the end of the world either, because I'll just... Oh, that's actually one of the interaction changes of the bomber. I think it needs one less hit to take out the uh, barbs. I, I could be wrong. I forgot if I already said that, but that's that's pretty useful, I have to say. Um, yeah, so we didn't we didn't take his tower, but we're in an amazing situation right now. He's just, like, not able to defend the E-Giants. That's his main issue. And then even if he defends it, the balloon is really obnoxious for him to deal with, too. Because he doesn't really have a good answer to it, to be fair. I mean, he's got the... Like, he has the Inferno Drag, but I feel like it's just not really... It's not really going to cut it, as you're noticing right now. So, this is going to be a pretty easy win here. Not a difficult matchup whatsoever. We'll probably go into another game here, because this one is... Yep, yeah, pretty much over here. So we'll just go for a NATO. Oh, misclick the NATO. Let's not throw. Oh my gosh. Can we not throw, please? Thank you. There we go. That's going to be GG. Really easy matchup. All right. Well, we found a game against PAX here. And I guess, and I hope you guys are enjoying these, you know, gameplay videos again. I've been doing them more often. These kind of short ones on, you guys have noticed, Path of Legends or Trophy Road. And I've noticed a lot of you guys have been enjoying them. So I've been uh, continuing to do them. And not just discussion videos constantly and uh, that sort of thing. So, anyway, let's get a fireball going here. And I think we're going to try to NATO this balloon to the uh, to the king tower. I think that's our uh, best bet. I mean, we are going to take a shot from the balloon as expected. But I think that was the best way we could have possibly defended that. This guy's got the cannoneer. So, this is going to be interesting. Last game we were against Lava. Now we're against a different type of balloon deck. And, ooh, this is our first game against the cannoneer this video, so I'm actually quite curious to see how E-Giant does against Cannoneer, because I feel like Cannoneer is better against Beatdown in almost all cases. Um, however, the Goblins are going to be probably really good against the Cannoneer, I'd imagine, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so that Phoenix is going to be very valuable, I think, against the... Uh, ooh, okay, so... This is actually a little bit... I'm going to E-Giant here. I, I think I'm just going to get a push going. I feel like it's my best bet. Uh, unfortunately, King Tower wasn't shooting that. That actually really sucks. Uh, I hope he doesn't... Okay, yeah, he didn't use the ability. Um, I'm going to actually Knight here and then go for my Balloon. I'm, I'm kind of quite curious what's going to happen. Like, if he's going to be able to defend this or not. I feel like it's going to be hard. Yeah, the Mother Witch is hitting that and not even the Balloon, so that's really good. Oh, somehow the... Eh, that's actually... You know what? That's not that bad. That's that's quite a lot of damage. Only thing, though, is the... <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's, let's just get an E-Giant going here. I feel like I really need to get his tower right now. Like, if I don't take his tower, I'm a little bit... Um... Let's see, are we going to get, well, that's close enough, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm not saving that. I'm not even going to bother trying to defend. I don't know, man. The Cannoneer seems to be pretty good against this deck, I have to say. I'm going to try to go in here. Um, I'm going to get a Fireball going. NATO, we're, we're gonna need death damage, I'll tell you that. Um, yep, yeah, I don't know, man. This is... Uh, this is pretty brutal. Not feeling too good about this. If I win this, I'm gonna be pretty surprised. Uh, let's see here. Let's get goblins going. He's gonna go fisherman, which I feel like... You know what, let's get for, get a knight going here. Okay, wait a minute. That was... I feel like he kind of... Okay, hold up. I feel like he messed up a little bit, potentially. Uh, wait, I'm not paying attention. The king tower! <laughs> no! Oh, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a loss, probably. Um... I have no shame showing losses, so 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This deck might struggle a little against Cannoneer. So, good to know, I guess.